Hi everybody, it's Payam here from Niche Advice. Right, one of the biggest problems I'm, we're getting at the moment, and I'm going to be pointing to these and making videos when there's problems come up, is time taken for searches and personal searches to come back. Um, obviously, when you're going through the mortgage process, okay, one of the parts, one of the important parts of uh, the legal, the conveyancing side is the local authority sort of personal searches that come back on a property. Okay, now uh, generally the local authorities searches have been quite good in historically, but not through COVID. This is a really good website, guys. So um, uh, this website is called searchflow.co.uk, and everybody who's buying should be looking at this website because it gives you an idea of how long things are taking. So personal searches, okay, how long are they taking? Now you've got some, you know, you've got, you know, some that will take seven days. I think Blackpool Council was one day, so they've really got no, no properties there, or there's nothing happening. Here we go, Blackpool Council is only one day, but then you have got some that will take up to 40 days, okay? So this site gives you an idea. So you should be going through. So look, Croydon, London Borough is only taking four working days on average. So. You know, you just got to um, have a look and see where you are with this because this will give you an idea around the conveyancing side of things of once you've got your mortgage offer, you know, how long things can take, how long the conveyance is going to take, how long this process is going to take. Now, some people to hurry, uh, hurry this along, what they're doing is they're paying for the searches before the mortgage offer is produced. And you can do so, but you've just got to be mindful that if for whatever reason the deal doesn't go through, if you don't get your mortgage or there's a problem with the property or so forth, you know, you've essentially wasted your money there because because the searches are done per property. So uh, you've got to keep that mindful. But if you are in a rush and if you need to complete and everything's there, that you know, this gives you a, gives you an idea and you can have a discussion, obviously, with your conveyancer to work out whether it's worth you waiting or whether you're better off doing the searches now. You know, for example, you know, if you were in Hammersmith, you've only got six working days of wait it, by you know according to this website. However. If you are Harrogate Borough Council, then you've got 40 days of wait. So at least this gives you an idea, this tool gives you an idea of where you are with things. Um, and, you know, predominantly at the moment, everyone's going through the mortgage process. And the mortgage process is really, really painful, especially with some of the lenders out there. Some of them are taking up to a month to come back on cases. Others are taking, um, you know, 17, 18 days just to review documentation. So if they've called, they've, they've pulled your document, they've asked for a bank, their bank statement, and they've said, what is this on your bank statement? You know, you go back to them. It could take another 17 days for them to review it. Others are very, very quick. I did a mortgage um, on... Friday, okay, we did a mortgage on Friday, valuation's been done today, all the documentation that we received, underwriter's been in touch with me already, okay, so it just depends, obviously packaging the cases and making sure the cases are in a correct way and we've got everything for the lender, that's really important, but there are some lenders that genuinely just say, we don't care what you've sent to us, we'll look at it next month, so, you know, knowing the time frame of how long the broker's going to take things to turn around, how long the lenders are going at the moment, what their service levels at the moment, also, um, being in dialogue with your conveyances and, and finding out around local authority searches, that's going to be really, really useful for you. So putting all that together, hopefully you can buy a property and try to get it in time for the stamp duty holiday mode. Thanks a lot, guys, and I'll catch up with you later on. Take care. The content of this video does not constitute giving advice. It's purely for information purposes. All cases should be discussed with a professional mortgage broker. As a mortgage is secured against your home or property, it could be repossessed if you do not keep up mortgage payments. Niche advice is authorized and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority.